Good afternoon, Pastor David. Hey, John. Welcome, everybody, to a random moment with Pastor David Unfiltered. Pastor, last night when I got home from church, uh, I was flipping through the channels, and I came across a televangelist. And he was claiming that if you send seed money in, he was going to send you this stone of David or this cloth that <laughs> would bring healing, but you would have to send this money in. And he was asking, you know, you know up to up to fifteen hundred dollars. And I'm thinking, for sure, nobody is going to. Oh no, they and, give. And, oh. <laughs> and they gave. Oh, they give. And and but I was thinking about this that, you know, when Jesus did healings in the Bible, there weren't, they weren't conferences, they weren't mass. I mean, there were people around, but they weren't holding stadiums for healing specifically. And today you see these televangelists going out and they're proclaiming healings if you do something first and I think about that and I wanted to ask has that desensitized Christians to the true value of healing because of these fraud that's oh absolutely it, it causes people who believe in a God who heals it causes us to to take a moment because we don't want to be broad brushed into the into the um, what's the word into the uh, reputation of being a charlatan this is this is not new obviously there there have been people who have wanted to to have particular gifts or have pretended to use particular gifts from from almost the beginning I mean I think of uh, the book of Acts and how that there was uh, there was one who who uh, had basically said uh, when he saw the Holy Spirit was given by the laying on of hands, he said, uh, sell me this gift because I want to use it. And, uh, and the Apostle Peter said, your money perish with you. You tried to buy a gift of the Holy Spirit. Uh, Simon, uh, it, was, it, it eventually was referred to as Simon. He trying to sell, sell some or buy something that, that is freely given by God. And so we've, we've had this particular... Um, um, mentality or, or, or type of person from all the way from the early days of the church until today. And there are some well-known quote-unquote healers, John, that I've heard of over the last many years that I've, I've been a Christian that have, uh, you know, I remember, I'll give you an example as I'm thinking, the, that I remember one who had claimed uh, that all you need to do is pray one time and then you'll be healed and all of that. Very well-known man who, uh, who claimed that, that God gives perfect uh, health to all those who have faith, and yet he died of a disease, you know. It was never, never presented. I mean, if you look him up, and I could give his name right now, but there's no need to do that. But if you look him up, you'll, you'll see that he died, uh, you know, it wasn't natural causes per se. It was something like either cancer or a heart attack. I forget, it's been a few years. There was another guy on TV who was always talking about how you can be healed, etc., and it's a guarantee. And his wife died of cancer. His wife had it, and she came on TV, John, and actually on that on their program confessed her lack of faith, and that's why she had had received cancer. So th th this is a sickening thing that we've seen from almost the beginning. When Jesus is speaking concerning the events that are preceding the second coming, he points out that the very first thing that is an evidence that you're in the last days and the days that are immediately preceding the return of Christ, leading to the tribulation and all, he says the number one thing is deception. Take heed that you are not deceived. And so throughout the New Testament especially, there are several scriptures that relate to false teachers entering into the church, making merchandise of the people, and denying the Lord who bought them, things of that nature. I mean, that is a very heavy concept you find in Scripture related to the last days and the days uh, essentially that lead to the second coming, the return of Jesus Christ, leading to the tribulation and the events that take place during that time. And so uh, any man who stands up and lies like that is going to stand in strict condemnation. He's going he's to have strict judgment from the Lord. He is basically... Uh, living for today. He has, he, he has succumbed to the temptation for um, immediate wealth, and he's lying to God's people. Our God is a healing God. You see that in the old, you see it in the new. Jesus Christ performed many healings, and we see these things in the 
New Testament scriptures, the Apostle Paul was used by the Lord to perform mighty miracles and miracles of healing. The Apostle Peter uh, and, uh, and John, they're at the gate called Beautiful. There was a miraculous healing. You see healings in scripture, and, and I do believe in a God who heals. But yeah, it causes us to to have to explain to people that we're not charging them for the free gift of God. And anybody who charges people for the grace of God and the gracious giving of God is a charlatan to be avoided. And yet, that's sad. So many people I, I've seen. Just the other day, there was a fellow that I happened to turn on just because I thought he's still around. <laughs> he was exposed, John. He was exposed years ago. His wife had, uh, had a, a microphone. He had an earpiece. She was reading uh, the names of people who were requesting prayer, who were attending this particular event, and she was reading their names, and she was she knew the description of their clothing, and uh, she knew the malady that they were dealing with, and she was whispering to him in his earpiece and saying, her name is Judy, she's to your right, she's wearing a red jacket, and then this charlatan is up there saying, uh, oh, what, what, Lord? There's someone off in this direction here, um, and, and you've got cancer. And, and he did that. And, and, and then you, this poor woman stands up crying, it's me, it's me. And they, 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 they bilk him for money. I wrote this guy because he's from this area. And I said, God is going to deal with you for what you're doing because I had his address his home address, and I wrote him. I said, if you are, if you don't repent from what you're doing, the Lord will expose you. And he was exposed by a man named the Amazing Randy, who said, this is what he's doing, this is how he's doing it. And he actually, for a while, was off the air. He came right back on, and there he is on TV again the other day, still doing that. Uh, this, this, this is the kind of thing that infuriates me. My mom was ill. My mom died of illnesses, you know. Uh, and, and, and if there's anybody who ever begged for and desired a healing, it was my mom. I saw her ill from the time she was 24 until she died at the age of 83. And my mom was not healed. And she asked God so often, John. And I prayed for her so often. My dad prayed for her. We all did. Oh, God, touch my mom. So when I see these these helpless people taking being taken advantage of, uh, you know, the Lord will deal with these people. They're charlatans. Our God is a healing God, but but He does not charge us for the healing. And these men and women who run around saying, "Oh, we have the ability to heal, but it's going to cost you fifteen hundred dollars for me to send you a rock or a rag," are you kidding me? I, I'm sorry, but any man should be, any, any man of God ought to have a righteous indignation over this because you're hurting God's people, you're profiting from them, you're a false teacher, and, and, uh, and I warn our people. This, this Sunday, I'll be sharing out of uh, Mark 13, signs of the, you know, the return of Christ, and I will be mentioning some of these kinds of things this upcoming Sunday. So that's a good segue of inviting you guys to come on out and join us this Sunday at 8.30 and 10.45, and it's a great opportunity to invite friends and family to come join. And yes, definitely the signs of the times, deception, and and it, and this has caused a desensitization in the hearts of believers of, does God really heal? Because there's Amen. all these crazy people out there Amen. doing it. Uh, so come on out, you guys. Come join us, and we do invite you to come on out. And Pastor, thank you so much for your time. Thank you guys for tuning in. God bless you, and we'll see you on Sunday. 